Hello dear friends. Good evening, or、oh, actually good late at night. So it's been long time. I didn't do video of、uh, tea, blah blah blah, and、uh, many other things. And I got friends asking, where are those tea? And、uh, I said it is disappeared. Those tea videos and、uh, drawing videos, they dis dis they disappear in the vicious cycle. The cycle of、uh, not making it, no demand, no need to to make it. And as I make less, there are more people. Watching, and as there are more less people watching, there is less need of making it. So it's kind of a vicious cycle, and、uh, it's quite disappointing. I am,、um, I am not so much into、uh, making a lot of video, and,、uh, but still, it's kind of.、Uh, It's kind of、uh, sad that seeing other people growing, growing, and seeing myself just、uh, becoming less and less needed, demanded, wanted. So that is life. I think there is always new life come and old things going away. Okay. So I turn on the light here. So we will do some tea. Drink some tea. I think、uh, you <laughs> the teapot. I didn't make a good, pretty teapot because I think、uh, that is good enough. We turn on the light. So I have this teapot and.、Um, It looks not so clean, but it's good. And、uh, I do not actually need to use that、uh, tea spoon box. But、uh, since you would like to see the spoon box, it's been long time we didn't use that spoon box. So I will use it this time. Okay. So I have. A spoon. Okay, this one without a sticker on it. You like to see it and hear it, right? I know it. Let's do it. So, <clears throat> and one friend asked about uh, the um, the uh, the. The tea, which is、uh, um, which is、uh, a poor tea, poor tea, poor tea. I do not drink poor tea very often, very much, because it's such a strong color, and such a black tea, very, very, very black. And I'm feeling that if I keep drinking it, my stomach will be all black, right? So.、Uh, <laughs> And also,、uh, it is hard to find some good quality poor tea. And、uh, since I do not drink it very much, I I'm very much less experienced in poor tea. So yesterday I went to the shop with my boys, and I found some of this poor tea. Are we in the right room? This time I used the good camera. And this camera, I think it will take、uh, for this video. It will take、uh, five or ten hours to upload this video. It's、uh, quite painful to 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 upload to use this camera. But、uh, I think you may like it because some of you say it has better quality and it capture captures the sound better. So I will. Use this one. So this is the tea, and、uh, I cut it. You can use a hammer to cut it, or you can use a Chinese chop, 
a knife to cut it, cut it a Chinese chopper or cleaver to cut, cut it. It's very strong, very difficult to cut it. A whole, uh, one whole, um, let's see, are you seeing it well? Are we in the right zoom? Are we in the right zoom? So this is the T. A whole T will be quite uh, too strong, so I will use only half of it. Put it in, and uh, I will go to get some, um, get some, uh, mm -hmm. let's zoom into the flower again. That's pretty, right? I will go to get the, the water one moment. I do not want to stop. This water is totally boiled. The water. Now I pour in water. Oh, oh sorry. Before I can fix it well. So pure cha is a kind of very, very strong, very dark color tea. And uh, it is so dark color that in some area, for example, in Guangdong province, people call it uh, uh, like jiang yu. It's like soya sauce. It's so strong color. It even looks like soya sauce. So this dark color. And um, and it's quite actually quite mild because it's already fully fermented. Everything when it is fermented, the flavor will develop uh, will develop uh, uh, much more. Either you like it or you dislike it uh, greatly. For example, fromage and uh, cheese, something you 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 really like or you really dislike. It's. Uh, it becomes uh, something that has so strong characteristic. It, it develops into its own character. Tea is the same. I think everything is the same. When it is developed and fermented and developed into its own life, the bacteria develop into its own life. It, uh, it is uh, something of its own. And uh, it does not compromise. This tea does not compromise. You like it or not, it, the tea does not try to please you. And uh, you just uh, need to, 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 to accept this tea, adapt to this tea, and uh, be accustomed to this tea, and, uh, and learn to enjoy this tea, right? So, so we can stir it a little bit. Actually, the first infusion is not very, very, very strong. Uh, it takes time, it becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. I think the tea is in the water. We are steeping it for about one minute already, two minutes or three minutes already. We can develop it a little bit more. Let me get a piece of paper Nothing to clean my spoon. Clean a little bit of the spoon so that we can... Yeah, oh, the spoon is so hot. Yeah. So you can see the color be develops so much. It's only half of the bowl. And uh, this tea, tea pot is around four, five, four, five, six cups quantity. So imagine one of this tea bowl, you can, you can, you can, it can be good for one day or two days consumption. And I always think this one bowl of this tea is too much. 
this is a little bit too much for for normal consumption. So I cut it half. So I think it's around 10 minutes. See the tea becoming darker and darker. Yes, you can see through the, the camera here. It's becoming darker and darker, stronger and stronger. But it's very, uh, very um, mild tea. And uh, it has full flavor, but nothing aggressive. Tea, something like uh, oolong tea, and uh, this tea are, are fermented. And depending on what kind of particular tea, some develop developed more, fermented into a full fermentation, some not fully fermented or half fermented. And, uh, and uh, it is warm and uh, it is good for winter. And uh, I do not have a reason why it is good for winter. Let me just explain it in my own philosophy, in my own um, in my own reasoning and logic. So the tea just came from the tree, like green tea, not developed, not fermented, fresh and green from nature. So when you drink those kind of tea, things like green tea, it is cool, it is cold, it cools you down. Even if you drink in hot water, it's still the nature of that tea is cold, it's cool, because there is no added energy in it. It is the tea, the bitter tea leaf itself. And this kind of fermented tea, imagine it has been uh, cooked, not totally cooked, like boiling. There is a special way of cooking the tea. I do not know how to cook that tea. Maybe they put into a hot pan, like baking or something, like uh, toasting, the, roasting the coffee bean, and roasting the tea. And, uh, and through time, it develops the bacteria inside the tea or the fermenting elements inside the tea, the little bacteria start to develop. And the bacteria is a small life, right? It's a kind of a bio-life, a, a micro-life. And it develops, so it accumulates energy. And uh, as it accumulates and accumulates, the longer time it takes, the more it develops, the more energy this tea has. So this is why I, see, I feel, this is my reasoning, why those kind of tea, this kind of black tea, strong tea, they are good for winter, because there is energy inside it. And in Chinese food, we have a lot of things that some are more energetic food, some are less energetic food. It's not those Chinese herbs. It's just any food has its own natural energy level. And one of the very common things, as I remember, uh, cucumber and cabbage are usually quite safe. Those are very low energy food. And uh, when you have allergy, I don't know. I think when I was young, I also had allergy. Allergy to, to different kind of water. Gosh, I was thinking allergy is only, only America has. <laughs> Actually, when I was young, I had energy, uh, allergy. Anyway, when you have allergy, you try to avoid uh, certain kinds of food. For example, seafood, do not eat seafood because seafood is, uh, it, it helps develop the allergy. And uh, not, uh, uh, not too strong food, something like, I forgot something else, 
And remember, tomato you cannot eat, egg you cannot eat, meat try to avoid to eat, and spice, ginger, onion, garlic, these kind of things do not eat because it's very, very irritating and uh, uh, stimulating, stimulating. Okay, I think my tea is good. It's uh, black enough. Gosh, look at it. So this is around 10 minutes of steeping. Five minutes is good enough, but uh, when we talk, we forgot the time. We forget about the time. It's all about uh, the happiness of uh, having something, enjoying something, right? So we talk. We do not care about time. We just talk. So here is the tea. It has a very, very strong color. And some people drink it with milk and sugar. I do not uh, like it. And also, I think I remember one day uh, I saw on Yahoo News, and on Yahoo News there was one report said uh, that the tea is actually not good for, for your health. And then it's actually they are not talking about the tea, the natural leaf tea. They are talking about the iced tea and the industrial produced the bottle cap and iced tea. Those are not tea. Those are not tea. It's a, it's an insult for tea if you think those are teas. <laughs> It has been sugared and with preservative, and uh, of course it cannot be good. And some people say there is no preservative. I, uh, it's hard to understand, to, 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 to believe it. Because I cook, I do things so, so I know. Uh, whenever there is bacteria, there is a chance for it to develop. You have to cure it, you have to, to, to have some additive conditioner or additive to control the development and to, to eliminate the development of those bacteria. And if you do not put, you make it all natural, it cannot last that long. Our natural water, it can last only these much days, these many days. Longer than that, it's, uh, it's, it, it will develop something uh, uh, not healthy. So canned food, they must put preservative or other things. Otherwise, they cannot stay over a year. Nothing can stay for a very long time. So let's enjoy this tea. It is very... Um, very earthy. I think uh, this uh, for for the density or the um, oh, it's pretty. The sound is beautiful. I like this sound. And uh, for the for the density, I should not say the density. For the um, for the tea content in this cup of tea. In this cup of hot water, I think this is good. If you put a whole ball of it, it will be too strong and it will have too much earthy flavor. And this tea has an earthy flavor. It's quite, uh, uh, you, 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 you feel like, like you drink something from the earth. You definitely has this earthy flavor. Uh, 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 touch, mouth touch. I think in wine there is this uh, this word earthy, and in tea definitely there is such a word. And um, and if you put too much, too strong this tea, it 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 will not become pleasant. It's like drinking a mud water. It's too much. Too much is not good. Make it just right or below. Uh, make it a little bit less is always good. It's same as one day um, we we had a crave, my boys, and uh, we had a guest coming here. 
and uh, we decide to have a festival that is to eat junk food because usually we do not eat junk, junk food and uh, we take it as a treat to to go to drink uh, to go to eat junk food so we treat ourselves with some junk food with uh, fries and we were so much <clears throat> Uh, so we we wanted so much to eat fries, so we ordered four fries, four fries for four people, and the final finally when it came, I think the cashier or something they 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 they, they messed up, they they mixed up, and uh, they gave us seven fries. I think they charged for the seven price of uh, seven fries. I do not know the the price. Who cares about the, the the price of the fries? <laughs> Who cares about the price of the fries? Who cares about the price of the fries? The price of the fries. The price of the fries. <laughs> Who cares about the fry? The price of the fries. And uh, so we ate it, and uh, of course we could not finish it. And uh, at the end of the day, at the end of that meal, we were thinking, oh, it was not delicious because it's too much. <laughs> so from then on, every time when we order something, we say, okay, we have to stop. We always order something just below enough. And you appreciate more. And we found if you order something more than you could eat, it always end up not as delicious as less. So less is more in this sense. When you order less, you appreciate more. And this is the same thing as when you shop. Um, shop, you can buy discount. You can buy from coupon, but never ever buy anything because it's cheap. Because it's cheap and you do not want it, you do not need it, you end up always pay more. Buy one thing, buy it right, and you use it, you use it to the end. It is the most economic way. For example, this lipstick, I bought it and there was no discount. I bought it the full price, but I use it from beginning to the end. Every time I use it, I use it until I totally finish it and I use the full value of whatever the price of it. $10, $20, whichever price. And if you buy something because it's cheap on sale, I think women, uh, ladies, you all know this. There are lipsticks on sale, two for $10, three for $10, five for $10.